Well, there were most unusual circumstances when Aston Villa and Liverpool met this evening, but there is no doubt whatsoever it was very much a one-sided affair. Um, I said men against boys, Phil, is that exactly what it was? And that was Liverpool's downfall? It was, even though the youngsters did start pretty brightly. The power, the physicality, the, the nous of the Villa players took hold and uh, too many individual errors. We shouldn't blame the young lads for that because it, it's part of their education. But uh, it, as you said, it was such a strange fixture, wasn't it? You know, Liverpool were really caught between a rock and a hard place and what else could they do? You could ask them to, to play in the League Cup and for, forego that lucrative appearance uh, in the Club World Cup. Uh, I don't think they'd ever do that from a commercial point of view. Mm. So they, they only had one choice, and that was to play a weakened side. But to say, does it devalue the competition? No, not in my eyes. All they could do was play the, the, the lads that were available. Because neither of these sides have played full-strength teams in the Carabao Cup so far. But this was an extra step, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's a quarter-final stage. You know, after this, you start thinking about the final. Obviously, um, you've got two legs to go, yes. But... As soon as you get to the semi-final, the first thing you're thinking about is we're going to win this, we're going to get to the final and go win it. Um, so unfortunately for Liverpool, Phil will tell you more about winning, he's won this cup himself with Liverpool and he'll tell you what the Liverpool fans think of this competition, but they, their hands were tied. As he said, mm. you, you, they can't turn down the opportunity to go to the Club World Cup. It's something they've not been able to be part of a lot. And they've never won it. Yeah, and it's a great opportunity. Whereas obviously, with all due respect, at the EFL Cup now, it gets criticised a lot for teams playing under strength sides, but if the AFL weren't able to come to a compromise with Liverpool to, to rearrange the fixture somehow, then this is what's going to happen. In some ways, were you not surprised the way that such a young side, I mean, the average age was 19 and 16. 182 yeah. days, yeah. the way that they played, was that no surprise to you? No, because um, they dominated a lot of the possession. Um, they had quite a few chances, but... I think anyone will tell you nowadays, if you play against um, under-23 side or you go play for the under-23s, it's very regimented, all X's and, o <clears throat> X's and O's, very tactical, very, you know, you move there, you pass there. The game management isn't quite so good. So, whereas Villa were happy to let them play a lot of ball in front of them, when Villa nicked it, they went and scored. And it's that punishment factor of, you know, this is men's football now, you're coming up against someone that's playing for three points, playing for their livelihood, Whereas when you're playing in an under-23s league, it's sort of like, OK, we had a good performance today, but we lost. That's the kind of attitude it is. You're in and around the club a lot, Phil. What, what's the fans' feelings about tonight? Because you said they were between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> yeah. And was there, if there was disappointment that it wasn't, if you like, their, strong, their strongest mm. second stream, bear in mind the team that beat Arsenal, put Arsenal out, the fact they're in such a position in the league yeah. and this uh, opportunity to win the Club World Cup for the <clears> first time... Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are they accepting of it, from what you can make out? Obviously, the club is built on success and winning trophies, but I feel in the list of priorities, obviously, the League Cup isn't, isn't high up there. Premier League is paramount. That's the feeling. Anything that could detract from that has to be an afterthought. And the League Cup, if they progressed even to the final, I think fans would be still saying, well, there's risk of injury, etc., etc. Would they... If, you, if they were guaranteed winning it, then he'd probably play a stronger side, but that's not the case. It's one less headache for Jurgen Klopp in that regard, not playing the League Cup. Two less and, games in Jan. Of course. Yeah. Um, he can focus. I, I think the fans are accepting about the League Cup. If they come back from Qatar as world champions, then that's a hell of, a, hell of another sort of, Well, they actually win a gold badge yeah. to stick on, on, on a new shirt for next season, so... You know, it's, it's, there's something yeah. to be had this, there. This competition, the World Club Cup, they're two, two games away from a trophy, whereas the EFL Cup, and, and with all due respect to the World Club Cup, against lesser opposition, but in the EFL Cup, you say, well, if they got past Villa tonight with a strong side, they've still got to get past, be it Man City, Man United, yep. Everton, whoever yep. it's going to be that gets through. So um, it probably saw it as well that the other competition was actually easier to, to get that win. Is there an argument as well that by playing in the World Club Cup, in, although it was raining there today, in, in warmer climes, actually, that could help them with their assault in the Premier League. I think so. I, I think I mean, the it's, mentality... It's not, it's, not, it's not a warm-weather training, training camp, camp, 
OK? <laughs> but the, the first opposition, they play, it shouldn't, Monterey shouldn't tax them too much, but no. can actually give them a boost. If get away like that, yeah. Well, getting away, the camaraderie, of course, it, it, it's nice to change your surroundings. It, it, it takes away from the pressure of the, the Premier League at all. If they win it, that's just going to add to their confidence and they're, they're going to keep snowballing and that's the thing. It's, he's, he's built a mentality there of winners and they want to win another mm. major tournament, another major trophy. They do that, then it's only going to galvanise them for the, the Premier League title.